Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Today we're breaking down Iglesias from Spain versus Sim from Korea. And this is my first time watching it, so let's get into it. Um, I actually don't follow women's fin flyweight that much, uh, so this is going to be kind of new for me. I don't really know the backgrounds. I assume these are high level people. They're at the Grand Prix. They have to be high level. All right. Nice aggression here out of uh, Spain. A lot more front leg. Actually, well, in fairness, there's a lot of front leg fighting now in men's too. I like how Spain here is bringing the match to Korea. Not fighting her at her own pace. Um, I feel a punch maybe good mix in for blue here but I think the game is slightly I don't know I would want to say it may be slightly easier to score because of the sensor so maybe they're playing more around that trying to just get the foot on the on the armor versus uh, kind of a heavier division for men's you know those sometimes those kind of hits don't 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 really score of course if you're Oleg Beck from Uzbekistan it doesn't matter you put your foot on the Hogu and it's going to go up anyway Nice try from Korea here. I wonder, so she's, I don't know if this is her main weapon. She's been doing this repeatedly the whole match. Uh, and it doesn't look like she's not changing target, not changing level, uh, not really even changing depth of the kick. So a lot of it's been the same target area and maybe she's just trying to fish to get past that arm. Well, there we go. There's a little, okay. There's a little bit difference. Occasional, occasional difference. There's a punch. Anything? Okay, that might be the def the, the the winner, the deciding match, deciding point here. Sorry. One extra for Gumjung. Turn this up. Maybe add some volume for you guys. Punch again. Yeah. I was gonna say. I mean, punch. I feel like was a good answer because, um, she nice back that up a little bit um punch was a good answer because she's been doing continuously this crashing cut uh korea's just been canceling essentially standing there in place so if you know your opponent's going to stand there in place a good way to counter that is just a punch defensively good i mean korea has to push at this point so oh actually rewind korea has to push at this point nice follow-up head head headshot anywhere headshot that's uh, first round for Spain. I don't imagine this turning the other way in three seconds. Yeah. So um, good ad ad adaption here by Spain to uh, switch into the punch. I think that was a good call. Good job by Korea to follow up near the end, though. A little bit unfortunate that she didn't do that earlier in the round where Spain knows she may or may not come in. So what I think would be a good adaptation here out of Spain is obviously to change targets. So sometimes body, sometimes head. Uh, for Korea, it would be almost just to dictate the pace of the match because Spain's been pushing you around all match. Good idea to uh, kind of do some stuff where obviously where I worked in the corner here. Just push the game to her a little bit. Use your back leg. Cover your face. So looking into the overall strategy here, what I think is happening is my my hypothesis watching Spain for the first time is I think she keeps doing the same target in the same area, specifically be, not because she's trying like kind of because she's trying to score. It's kind of all targeted here, right? And she's trying to score, but not really. And I think what she's trying to do is she's trying to force this so often that when you do go forward, she has this front leg hook kick, which she's using to counter everyone. So it's really almost like a dehoon ish type move where it's a lot of pressure, but instead of pressuring with just footwork the way Dehoon used to do, it's pressure with his cut. 
and she just does it over and over again until either the cut is going to get through or you have to retaliate because it, the call for uh, no action. And so when you do retaliate, she's sitting on that front leg hook kick, and obviously she's really good at this game. So uh, that that might be what, what, the, what the game plan is here. Nice try by Korea to try and take control. Reaching forward. That also might be why Korea is hesitant to go forward because if Korea's whole game is based off her front leg cut and Spain's whole game is based on that front leg hook kick, then obviously Korea doesn't want to keep giving her the opportunity because the front leg hook kick pays off a lot more than a cut kick does. Nice try. I feel like another punch may be coming soon. Nice. Oh, she tried to flick that one to the head. Good job changing. Good change. Nice punch. Okay, they gave her the punch. How did that score? A little grazing body shot. Not that one. Mm. Yeah, so it's just that front leg defensive cut. Nice punch. Wow, okay. Getting through, getting through. Interesting. I wonder if there's a lot of time left. No, Korean may not be able to pull this out. We'll see. There's 30 seconds left. Four points. Manageable. Ah, it's running away now. It's starting to get away. If Korea comes back from this, I'm going to be very surprised. Not bad. I mean, she's just stalling time at this point. And she moves to the final. All right. So key takeaways from this. Uh, Spain, obviously, really good front leg and has good front leg defense. Uh, I'd say a defensive measure. So both a majority of her points scored on the defense with a cut. And her so her whole, whole game is based upon kind of um, just poking and poking and poking and waiting for the opponent to come in. She has a front leg hook, has that front leg cut. Um, is using hoping to use your opponent's weights to run into that Korea here had some pretty good follow-ups um, there were some times where she was she was able to blitz and got a point got the point first on this in the first round with the follow-up kick uh, how would I coach against this I don't know if Korea has can switch legs to a close stance I mean if that was if I were fighting this myself and the person's front leg was really good I would try and see what my luck is in the close stance a little bit try and fight from either one and I would uh, if you feel like it's unsafe to break the defense from a standstill, I would definitely be trying to use a lot more timings around timing reset. So as soon as the ref breaks, then go almost like a Junsei Obe style kind of thing. Um, and I, I'm not just saying that because Junsei Obe is really, really cool. And I like that guy. I'm saying it because if you're not confident in beating your opponent's defense um, on a toe to toe, then the time to the, the best ch shot you're going to have is when they're not expecting it. Right. So that's during like timing resets, right when the ref is coming from Calio or after a small engage as you guys are settling back if, if the pace of the game has been like kick 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 reset bounce bounce kick 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 reset bounce bounce then you'll kick kick bounce and then go again then that's stuff where you can maximize uh or try and use kind of like a timing reset to get around the defense of your opponent um someone who's really good at this is Nam Goon from Korea uh really really likes doing this stuff and so yeah that might be some stuff to take away from the future know where your strengths are know how to force the match to where you can use your strength so obviously spain's strong defensively forces the match to where she's poking and poking and if you don't move then you're gonna have a, a gum jong and if you do move she's sitting there defensively because that's what you want anyway so keep that in mind guys i think i think that's going to be the key takeaway um until then see you guys next time and thank you for tuning in oh also please like share and subscribe